What's up, ladies and gents? Coach Ryan from Existence Athletics, and today I'm gonna to talk about the matrix squat. The matrix squat, also known as the sissy squat. Matrix squat sounds cooler, so that's what we're gonna stick with, all right? The matrix squat is a way to strengthen your knees. Now, if you're like me, or if you have been around the fitness industry for a while, at some point, someone has probably told you not to put your knees in front of your toes, all right? Maybe it was on a lunge. Hey, get that knee back, don't let it go over your toes. And if you've been on social media world over the last couple of years, you've probably heard of a program called Knees Over Toes, popularized by a gentleman named Ben Patrick. Shout out, ATG program Ben Patrick. Anyway, all right, here's the thing. Sometime back in the 70s, there was a research paper that came out and it said, hey, when your knee goes over your toe, it puts a lot of stress on your knee. But that's where it stopped. Some people read that and said, oh, it puts stress on the knee. It must be a bad thing except if you want to get stronger or fitter or faster, you kind of have to apply a stress. And some other researchers heard that and said, hey, you know what, stress on the knee, good thing. All right, so not everybody has been keeping their knees behind their toes. As a matter of fact, there was a gentleman named Charles Poliquin that was once quoted as saying, the athlete whose knees can go furthest and strongest over their toes is going to be the most well-rounded athlete. Now that's not verbatim, but uh, he said something like that. All right, here's the thing though, for a long time, I kept my knee behind my toe. Correlation is not equal causation, but I've had multiple knee issues. Uh, and it's probably because my knees weren't strong. First time I heard, don't put your knee over your toe, I thought, okay, when I put my knee forward, I was like, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense, it hurts. Well, it didn't hurt because it's bad for me, it hurt because my knees are weak. That's all tying this back around to the matrix squat, okay? So the matrix squat, the idea is, I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and I'm gonna push my knees forward. Now I've got a straight line, can you see it? I have a straight line from my shoulders, my hips, to my knees. The key here, big key, the only key really, is that there's no pain, all right? So we want to go as far as humanly possible without pain. So we can start a little bit higher, and from right here, lean back, squeeze your cheeks, let your knees come forward, and try to tap. In the workout, specifically today, we're incorporating these in the strength as a little bit of a rest, if you will. Now, if you can hit your knees on a higher target, the next goal is to get a little bit lower. Push the knees forward, squeeze the glutes, and come down. Now, there's not really a need to go any more than about two inches off the ground. Woo! Again, the big key. No pain, all right? Now what you'll often see as a fault is something like this. People will lean back and then they'll lose that uh, little straight line, come down, touch the knee. Now is that still working? Yes. Is this one better? Probably. Does it look cooler? Absolutely. All right, by leaning back and keeping that straight line, you're also gonna put a lot of tension on the quads. You're gonna be stretching those quads. That's a little bit of the method behind the madness of the matrix squat. Have fun with it.